There's a reason why I chose an increase in the budget deficit and I chose an increase in the repo rate. Both of these are happening right now. So what I want you to see is that ceteris paribus, in other words, all things remaining constant. It is constant. You've got fiscal policy that is expansionary, although in this case, expansion doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. No, no, not good. Not good at all. And on the flip side, you've got monetary policy that is restrictive. It's trying to cool down the economy to try and cool down inflationary pressure. Of course, I must be clear on what I mean by that. The Reserve Bank doesn't want to cool down the economy so that jobs are lost. But unfortunately, the way that monetary policy works is in order to cool down inflationary pressure, you invariably cool down the economy. You want to cool down demand. And this is why the central bank gets a lot of criticism because you'll, you'll find that it, uh, labor unions especially are very hard on the central bank because you, they would be pushing up interest rates in an environment that we are facing right now with high inflation anyways. Why, 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 why? And the higher interest rates result in higher financing costs for consumers. So their budgets are squeezed even more, so times are tougher. And it cools down the economy, which results in job losses. So why would the central bank then push up interest rates? Because their mandate... That's part of my mandate. ...is inflation targeting. And the inflation rate is above the target. So they push up interest rates to cool down inflationary pressure. Unfortunately, that results in a cooling down of the economy. That's unfortunate. Now, if you flip it back to the, the fiscal side, the increase in the budget deficit, that does not mean necessarily a good thing, quote unquote, because the question is, what is driving government expenditure? The government can be spending more, but what are they spending on? So if you take into account the, the amount of waste, wasteful expenditure, for example, quite a percentage of government spending is on wasteful expenditure. Quite a large percentage of government spending is the paying back of previous debt. Quite a large proportion of government spending is paying back the interest on previous debt, which were previous budget deficits. In addition, the reduction in taxes, that could be as a result of not, being, not collecting tax revenues. It could also be a result of, of maybe having a tax policy that's not effective. So one should not see the fact that the increase in the budget deficit is a quote-unquote good thing because it supposedly stimulates the economy. The question is, what is stimulating the economy? What is the expenditure that is supposedly stimulating the economy? You've got to go deeper into what the components are that is driving this expansion policy.